Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, today we're going to check in out the death of the prophet. Very emotional. Guys, come to the conclusion that I won't say maybe, but God actually gave Prophet Muhammad the Quran. And he was a prophet. Based on the Quran, like if you read the Quran, you see it's a message from God. So I, I want to really, really dive deep into the Quran. I want to read it for myself and I get to know the feel, like what it means, literally. But I understand that the Quran was the message it was, so I want to read it. I'm not done with the Bible, I'm still trying to finish the Bible, then go straight to the Quran, and then I'll come to my conclusion. Guys, let's get straight into this. A couple of hours after the sun had risen, the Prophet laid in the chest of his wife Aisha. And entered upon him Jibreel and asked him the question that all of the prophets before him were asked. Do you permit that I allow the angel of death to enter upon me? And this is the right of every prophet of Allah, that they are asked, are you ready to return to Allah? And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Aisha quotes and says, he pointed to the heaven and looked above and said, Ila Rafiq al-A'la, I wish not to remain in this life. And I wish to ascend to the highest heights to be nearest to Allah Azza wa Jal. Aisha radiallahu anha, she said, I felt his weight on my chest and his hand drop and his body explode with fragrance. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So I screamed out, La ta Rasulullah, our messenger has passed away. And the people from outside my home heard me. And they entered and saw that the Prophet وسلم, who I had in my arms, was no longer responding. And the news spread through Al Madina. And Abu Bakr ran back. He saw Umar in the masjid brandishing a sword. Uthman unable to walk, and Ali, his tongue is still. A man of the Ansar looked into the house of the Prophet ﷺ and saw his body and made dua to Allah and said, Allahumma ghud basari hatta la ara ahdan ba'da Rasulillah. He said, Oh Allah, take my sight. So I see no one after him. Abu Bakr kissed the Prophet and wept and said, Ya Muhammad, you were always fragrant, but even more so after death. As for the death that was written upon you, you have tasted it. And there will be no harm that you face from this day forward. Abu Bakr walked out of the room and in strength and serenity that none possessed but him that was divinely inspired upon his heart, he stood on the mimbar of the Prophet ﷺ. And he raised his voice and said, Ayyuhan nas halummu ilayh. Oh people gather around me. And people came to listen. What is a Siddiq going to say at this moment? And Abu Bakr said those words that all of us have heard. Man kana ya'budu Muhammad, fa inna Muhammadan qad mat. The one who was known to worship Muhammad, let him know Muhammad is dead. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But the one who worships Allah, fallahu hayyun la yamut. 
let him know our Lord Allah is eternal and will never cease to exist subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then he recited those verses that we learned as a lesson in Uhud. And calm set in the city. And they began to debate. What do we do with the Prophet sallallahu And it was said to them, I heard that the messenger said that the prophets of Allah that Allah has commanded that the place that they are to be buried is the same place that they died. And by then he had been put on a bed where he was seated next to Aisha radiallahu anha. And they removed that bed and they began to dig a grave for the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. At that moment, it became time for Adhan, for Salatul Dhuhr. And Abu Bakr ordered Bilal to make the Adhan. And as you already know, Bilal could not continue it. And where Bilal reached, Ashadu Anna Muhammad Rasulullah, his tongue could not say those words. So Abu Bakr stood next to him and completed the Adhan and led the people in prayer. And Abu Bakr ordered that the house of the Prophet be made open so that everyone in Al Madina can come and give their final salam to the Prophet. And it took three days for every single member of the Medina of Al Nabiyya to enter upon him and to hug him and to kiss him. And then the women entered upon him and sent their salam upon him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then the children were admitted and they gave their salam to the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Aisha radiallahu anha, she says, we only knew that the visitors had come to an end in the middle of the night when we heard the tools digging into the ground and putting the dust upon the Prophet's eyes. And Aisha turned to Ali and she said, Ya Ali, how has your heart allowed you to put dust on Muhammad sallallahu Where did you get the strength to do it? And he could not respond. al Medina darkened and people felt the loss of the Prophet And whenever there was a birth or a death, whenever there was an occasion of joy or sadness, all people could say was, Wa Muhammada, our Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's the one we remember. I wish he had seen this child that was just gifted to me. My joy is not complete. I've been given a child, but there's no Nabi to put a date in his mouth sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. There's no one who will hold this baby of mine as these other children were blessed with his hand. And when someone would die, people would cry and say, there's no Nabi to lead the Salah and to grant them the Rahmah that we all had from our Nabi Sallallahu I wish I had died before his death. I wish that I had been given a burial by him Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Every moment of joy and every moment of sorrow brought him back into their life. Every salah with the pronouncement of Ashadu Anna Muhammad Rasulullah, Al Madina Tartajifu Bil Buka, the city would shake with tears. It is recorded in the seerah that the Prophet, وسلم, after his burial, that there was a calming sleep that fell upon all of the people of Medina. And all of them heard in their dream the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that the Medina will be protected by the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's presence therein. And people were reluctant to leave and they would say, did you see and hear what I saw and heard? Some of them saw in their dream 
how to cleanse and wash and prepare the Prophet's body Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam for the Janazah. And when they said, will someone lead prayers over the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? And the answer is no, for none is worthy to lead prayers upon him except the Salah and the Salam and the Salawat upon him Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And how are we to wash him? All of the Medina heard in their voice, in the voice of an angel, La tujarridu nabiyya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Do not remove the garments of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, but rather pour water from above him, above his clothing. Every step was an honor of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And when he returned to Allah, the connection to Allah remained. And the victory of Allah promised to him is before me. And in every city that I speak and that we think of our Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you see the victory of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Are you tired of all these annoying ads on YouTube? Guys, this is beautiful. Like, let me come to know about his death. <sighs> so, the emotional period for everyone that was alive then, and it was really heartbreaking. Based on this story, if it's legit or not, but let's go on the story, guys. Like, the story actually makes us know that everyone was heartbreaking. Even some people wish to have died before him. Like, that was. He was really important in their life, guys. And the story, guys, it says some people actually worshipped Muhammad, but I think his brother Abu Bakr, I don't know if it's his brother, but he reminds them that they are supposed to be worshipping God. And that reminder is actually very, very beautiful because I feel some Christians have got it lost this period to be worshipping Jesus. Even if Jesus should have called him the same respect we are called to God, does not mean he said we should worship him. And but with the Christians tradition that they are all one, that will give them the right to somehow worship Jesus, saying Jesus and God the same thing. So we are worship I understand where they're coming from. So guys, we're done with this guys. Tell me what you think about if you leave your competition on the video you think I should check out, guys. I'll see you next time, guys. Please.